Welcome back to Safe Science TV. My name is Richard Campus. Today we're going to talk about a product, infecting wipes, that you see everywhere. You see them in the cafeteria at work, you see them at the dentist's office, the doctor's office, uh, you see them at the fitness center. Uh, you know, when you buy them, typically you'll buy a three pack or a six pack. Um, and even when you enter the grocery store, you probably see that little canister sitting on a rack um, and you pull one out, little six by eight inch white towelette, you go zip, zip, zip across the handle of your grocery cart, you're good to go. You walk into the store to buy your family's groceries. Do you know that you've caused more problems by using that infecting wipe, and I apologize, you probably wonder what's going on here, you know it as a disinfecting wipe, but I'm going to bet that nobody has ever read the back instructions on that disinfecting wipe. Uh, we're going to show you a graphic here in a second just because I am sure most people, number one, haven't read it, um, and number two, gosh, the type is so small uh, that you can barely read it. Do you know most of the disinfecting wipes require that the wet surface time, the time that the surface is wet that you are wanting to disinfect, is 10 minutes. Really? Couple problems. If you take out that wipe through those jaws of life, it's not really wet enough to leave any surface that you're wiping wet for 10 minutes. Um, and I'm pretty sure that uh, most people wouldn't pull out five or six in a row and keep that surface wet until you reach that 10 minute what we call in the industry dwell time or contact time. What does dwell time mean? So let's, let's take our little organism here. Could be a flu virus, uh, you know, could be something more serious like MRSA. Every organism, virus, bacteria, mold spore, protozoa, has a cell wall. And the disinfectant, so the chemical in that disinfecting wipe, is required to burn through that cell wall to get inside and now render it harmless. By not leaving that dwell time, that contact time, that wet time in that 10 minute range for many organisms, what are you doing? Well, every day on television, we hear about hospital acquired infections, HAIs, and now they call them hospital acquired conditions. We hear about antibiotic resistance. So many of the antibiotics that we've been using over the past heck, 10, 20 years are no longer working because they're not strong enough. Why are they not strong enough? Strong enough? It's because we have been improperly disinfecting. And here's what's happened. The grocery store. You've wiped that handle zip, zip, zip. What you've done is you've caused a problem. Because that chemical has now touched the cell wall of the organism, it hasn't killed it, it's only gone onto the surface, that organism is now building an immunity to the disinfectant that is supposed to burn through and kill it and render it harmless. So by building a resistance, you are actually causing more problems than you are solving. So you'd be better off actually not using that disinfecting wipe, I, I keep wanting to call it the infecting wipe, you'd be better off not using that disinfecting wipe than what you have just done and now you are strengthening all of those organisms that we want to be out there killing. At Safe Science TV, we've got some non-chemical ways that we can do disinfecting and if you watch our video on extended protection, you're going to learn more about our 24-hour hand protection, our 730 90-day surface disinfecting protection, um, and some of the better ways that you should be out defending against virus, bacteria, uh, mold spores, protozoa, uh, et cetera. So let's take a look at that label that I want you to go home and read on the wipe that you have. Um, so you can do some what they call sanitizing which is leaving the surface wet for 30 seconds. So where is sanitizing going to work? In your kitchen, if you have handled some meat, there is a good chance that you've left some E. coli bacteria on the surface of your counter or the cutting board or that dish. E. coli is really easy to kill. And because that cell wall is so thin, it only takes 30 seconds of disinfecting 
wet disinfecting to actually kill that organism. But any other organism out there, you are, again, you are building an immune system for that organism and you're making it harder to kill it for the rest of us. Take a look at the instructions. You're gonna see wet time of 10 minutes. I would like you to go to Safe Science TV. Uh, a combination, we call it our Integrated Disinfecting Protocol, IDP, Integrated Disinfecting Protocol, using our all-purpose disinfectant in combination with our extended protection technologies, and we're going to protect you. We're going to show you how we can kill all of the organisms that are out there. When you turn on the radio and television and you hear about salmonella, you hear about norovirus, you hear about C. diff, you hear about MRSA, all of those organisms can be killed in 10 minutes and with our surface protection, we can give you 30 day protection on most surfaces. Don't go out and buy more infecting wipes. Uh, there may be opportunities where they are helpful, but please read the directions first. Uh, you know, they're pretty inexpensive and they're throwaway, but you're causing, in many cases, you're causing way more problems than you're solving by using them. I thank you for watching Safe Science TV. I hope I didn't go into too much detail. Uh, take a look at our website and you'll see more information on protecting yourself and your family and your business. Thank you.